This is Sydney Market's Greenpoint facility. This is where we sort, separate, reuse and recycle our major waste streams. The main waste stream that comes to Sydney Markets is obviously fruit and vegetables. So our number one target is organic waste. Organic waste, we have another option. One of them, the main one is sending it to Earth Power facility where food waste is converted to energy and fertilizer product. We also divert food waste to organic recyclers, farmers for stock feed, and also food bank, giving food to the needy. City Markets waste contractor is Veolia Environmental Services. City Markets has had a lot of association with Veolia. It's a unique customer that can achieve these sorts of outcomes because it does take a lot of effort up front to achieve the best outcomes at the back end. And as you'll see here at Green Point, you know, at some stage in City Markets history, Greenpoint didn't exist. Now it does, there's labour, there's lots of capital, there's obviously you've got to segregate storage area and put that effort in to achieve those outcomes. The beauty about having Veolia is that they own two world-class facilities. One being Earth Power, where food waste is converted to energy and a fertiliser product, and the other one is Woodlawn, where all our general waste is sent there, methane gas is captured and fed back to the grid. So it's a great solution, part of the circular economy. Really at Sydney Markets, the loop has been completely closed. Even the residual waste that goes to the bioreactor is achieving and generating some really good environmental outcomes. Another major waste stream is cardboard waste, and there's a lot of cardboard, as you can understand, with the packaging in the markets. We generate around 1,500 tonnes of cardboard collected and recycled on site. We have Veolia as our partner, and they go around collecting it with a rear lift truck on a daily basis. On Saturdays, we have actually three rear lift trucks collecting in excess of 10 tonnes per day on Saturdays. So cardboard recycling is another major waste stream. The third one is timber pallets. Now, the pallets come around the markets and are distributed with all the wholesalers to the retailers and are generally left lying around. We actively go around collecting them. We assess the pallets on a daily basis the ones that can reuse are reused and offered to our stakeholders and external companies. And the ones that are badly damaged are sent to a facility for shredding and it's another product, a reuse solution. As we all know, polystyrene is a product that should not end up in landfill. That is why City Markets, we've invested in a machine that actually reduces the size of the polystyrene to a resellable product, so we actually recycle it on site. In the last 10 years, we've actually recycled in excess of 2 million boxes here at City Markets. And once you reduce the size of the actual product, it comes out into an ingot, and that ingot is remolded into building products, and you can resell them in the open market. Now these ingots are molded into a little bunch like this. So each one of these bundles weighs about 15 kilograms, and each one is around 50 boxes. So you can see the reduction in size. So this product here is actually sold overseas for an excess of $500 a tonne. Our organic waste, we have a, a beautiful solution to it. A lot of our farmers, local farmers, come and collect a lot of our organic waste on a daily basis for stock feed. And that's a great part of the circular economy. It starts from the, from the farm and ends up in the farm. So it's a complete cycle. So it's a great result. So Greg, this sort of stuff will go well in your farm? Yeah, cattle love it. Cattle love it, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we try to make it easy for our local farmers. We have the equipment to load up the trucks, utilities, whatever they shove up with, and we load them up as much as we can with suitable product for their stock feed. Another great environmental initiative is the installation of the solar panels here on this rooftop and other buildings around the markets. City Markets has now completed stage four of the projects and now we have an excess of 3.1 megawatt hours of green energy. And that equates to taking 2,600 vehicles off the road and saving city markets in excess of $1 million a year in electricity costs. We've also installed quite a number of charging stations for electric vehicles, so this is a great solution for green energy. We also divert food waste, giving food to the needy. Anything that comes to Greenpoint collected is evaluated by the team Anything worthy, suitable for human consumption is sent to food bank on a daily basis and that gives uh, access to fresh food for the needy. Our commitment, innovations and sustainable strategies implemented on site has led to many awards 
both locally and internationally. Some of the awards they've won uh, most recently and over the last couple of years would certainly demonstrate that they are at the leading edge when it comes to these signs of initiatives in, in fresh produce markets around the world. One of our crucial partners here at Sydney Markets is the New South Wales Office of Environment and Heritage. This year Sydney Markets was fortunate to win the prestigious Green Globe Award for Best Sustainable Business. Winning the New South Wales Government Green Globe Award for Business Leadership has placed Sydney Markets in an elite group of reputable companies who value sustainable practices as part of their core business principles. Our vision here at Sydney Markets is to continue to improve the world's best practice in waste recycling and sustainability. Greenpoint is the busiest place in the market. I mean, come down here any day of the week and you see what I mean. Over 17,000 tonnes of waste is sorted, separated, reused and recycled. Organic waste, cardboard, timber pallets, plastic, polystyrene, you name it, we'll recycle it here.